Hello folks and welcome to another Smurfy video and this week we're going with a 90s theme and we are looking at a kind of gold team from the early 90s with a surprise first up is the Falling Colossus there we go great start falling over so first up we have Colossus and this is from the classic X-Men line I never actually realised that the classic X-Men line were basically just Marvel Legend figures. Didn't realise it for years. Silly me. So this is pretty good. The paint apps are pretty much just a bit more shinier instead of the dark ones from the classic Colossus version, which I'm planning on showing next week. And he has these boots, which take away the big section, which is usually here on the classic version. And I like him. I'm glad I got this guy. Because you can add him into 90s sort of world without that real classic feel. Without the darker colours on here, etc. So, and the head sculpt is, is still a really good head sculpt. We need a more modern Colossus though, I feel. One from the now. One with a moustache perhaps. Who knows. And maybe a human sized Colossus. One smaller than this one would be pretty cool. Next up we have Storm in. Once again, X-Men Classics line. So it's taken the, the black costume and made it into a 90s white costume. And once again, I still think this, this is a really good thing. The only problem is the paint has flaked over time. But it's still a really good figure. And the trouble with this figure, as with the original figure, it doesn't stand up very well. So you kind of need a stand to make it work. But also I noticed with the Jubilee line storm also once again heels. It doesn't work. Why don't they make it so that they can stand? Really frustrating me. But you know, sits well within the team. She has pretty much been one of the team leaders along with Cyclops for such a long time. Under Professor Xavier. You know, it was always the three of them leading the way, so to speak. So I think the only disappointing thing when Xavier decided to stand back. A mutant kind was on the brink of decimation that Cyclops was the only one to stand up I think if he had Storm by his side some of his decisions would have been different she would have um, you know made him think a bit more so but he stepped up she went off to marry Black Panther and well look how that ended up not very well and then she hooked up with Logan right before he dies it just seems ridiculous and crazy but you know each to their own. Maybe some people like that relationship, I didn't. Next up is one of my favourites, Hank McCoy, aka The Beast. And this figure is absolutely beautiful. As you can see, you know, that head sculpt is absolutely perfect. I probably need to get a wipe in, give it a good clean. And it even opens up its jaws, his jaws. Yeah, it looks a bit strange, but it works. And he came with see, a... For me, this is the beast that I like. The beast that joined the Avengers, the beast that was, you know, fun, even when he was dealing with the legacy virus, and not this beast we've had for the last sort of 10, 5, 6, 7, 8 years, where he's just gone down this really strange path, become a great big hypocrite, Hayden Scott Summers, and yet he brings the original X-Men from the past, so, yeah. And now he's with the Inhumans, and I'm reading that I'm trying to get my head around this whole Hank McCoy, Hayden Scott Summers thing. I still, you know, it's a bit, a bit strange. But hey ho, it is what it is. And here we have Jean Grey, falling over. What is it with me and falling over figures today? <laughs> and she was part of the Rocket Raccoon line, and there was meant to be two variants. There was meant to be a Jean Grey in a white Phoenix costume. And an Age of Ultron, sorry, Age of Ultron, Age of Apocalypse, Jean Grey. And we got neither of them. So we have 90s Jean Grey, and she, you know, the costume's perfect. The hair's almost perfect. It would have been cool if we had a ponytail Jean Grey. You know, we got this Jean Grey. And this Jean Grey was awesome. And we haven't had, other than all new X-Men original Jean Grey, we haven't had adult normal Jean Grey because she's dead. Killed by the imposter Zorn, Zorn, getting my words right, and he was an apostle of Magneto, and it's a whole cute and confusing thing which I still don't understand. But hey ho, here's Jean Grey, she looks good, you just need a 90 Cyclops to go next Ooh, to her. And there we go, Slim in all his action next to Jean Grey, ready to take on Magneto and whatever, Hordes, Hordes, oh my goodness, I'm terrible today. 
but hey ho there we go and i'm gonna add in sentinel uh angel in this uh blue uniform because he wore this uniform for pretty much the late part of the 90s if only you could get the um the archangel wings on this figure and perhaps uh, a free flowing blue blue um warren's head this figure you know you could really bring into the 90s world but you know i like it i liked the talons i like the outfit and this was what probably like my fifth or sixth x-men marvel legends that i actually got see if only that clipped in that would look amazing just need a stick of blue head on there so you know unfortunately it doesn't actually even clip into the back but you know the possibilities were there if it had an extended peg that could get past the wing sockets but hey ho this one will have to do maybe in the 70s or in the 80s or early 90s or early zero sorry we're stick him in there there we go and as a surprise we have the amazing builder figure jubilee from the um builder figure jubilee wave and you know what i was really excited when i was told we we're getting a jubilee figure especially a builder figure and this was around the time we were getting hit monkeys and rocket raccoons and then they gave us a vampire jubilee they gave us in this um this vampire uniform or whatever it is she likes to call it which is really really odd and then she still gets to keep the really cool glasses the really cool coat so why the hell they haven't just made the 90s version because i think that would sell like hotcakes i would love to actually have a 90s jubilee with firework pyrotechnics going over her head because that's a jubilee i like to remember not vampire jubilee who's adopted a kid but you know you may disagree you may like vampire jubilee jubilee who's not chasing wolverine or generation x but that was a jubilee i liked and as you can see, they all go really nicely together. A whole team unit ready to fight whatever bad guys you want. And just to show you what that could be like, here's one I made earlier. And there we go, a nice 90 position, 90s position, sorry. And you got Sabretooth showing Storm that he can't mess with her, like in the 2000 movie. Death Strike jumping all over. McCoy giving him a run for his bestial money. Colossus and Jean Grey working to free Jubilee from Omega Red and then we've just got Angel in the back posing as he usually does in the books. So you know tell me what you think of these figures. Were they your favourite? Are they still your favourites? And you know like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much. Good night.